hello 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 great viewers of my time you are welcome to bless biafra network a bar no winging network where you can get authentic news and the great news that you are looking for do not think we are joking here come to bless biafra network right now you will see what is happening this is what we are talking about it's one of the best i'm talking about the best what are we going to show you right now something new check it out the headline says our leaders take Ibus as slaves but we have woken up we must have biafra prophet honor now in detail prophet williams honor is one of the most popular prophets in nigeria no doubt about that he is also one of the people that have been fighting for the freedom of the biafra people he's been saying things about the freedom of biafra he is general overseer of the Galilee Christian Church. A video has surfaced in Facebook. In the video, he was interviewed about the freedom of Biafra. He said that all the Igbos people need right now is Biafra, nothing else. The Igbos want their freedom. And if the freedom is granted for them, then they will be good. He even used some biblical examples about freedom. He said that in the Bible, God orders Pharaoh to give Israelites their freedom. So, he indicated that God also wants freedom for everyone, including the Igbo people. He said that the Igbo people have suffered enough. All they need right now is that freedom. He said that our leaders take the Igbo people as slaves, but right now, they aren't any slave for anybody because all they want is their own country. You see, this actually overcome development. Assuming all our pastors will be talking out, believe me, everything will be okay. We cannot leave everything for Mazin and the Kali alone to do. He's doing his best. In fact, he has done his best. And he's still doing more to make sure that Biafra is restored. Like the pastor said, we are nobody's slave and we cannot be anybody's slave. We are the best. We are the best in everything. So how can we be people's slave? That's what they think. Because our governors and our leaders gave them that audacity. If not, who are they to see us as slaves in our own land, a country that we contributed in getting the independence from the Britain? We are Pierre France. Nigeria can never work. That is why we must restore Pierre France nation. We don't give them what you think. <laughs> We don't want to know who is thinking what, whether it's Yusufo, whether it's Buhari, whether it's uh, 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 Jubilio, whether it's Northern Governors, whether it's you know, Sokoto, that is their own cup of tea. Whether it's all those uh, set of killers who have in land as leaders. The most important thing is that the Biafra must be restored and nobody can stop it. Nobody born of a woman can stop it. The pastor just said the right thing. We are nobody's slave. And nobody can stop us from restoring Biafra nation. That freedom we seek is what we will get, whether they like it or not. They have done their worst. They have massacred us in number. But we are still existing. We cannot because of few entities more than 40 million Igbos in Biafra are right there in Biafra land no work no job because the Janja we said so no factory no companies people that are oil producing state people that have everything Gas, human resources, but upon that, 
They tied us down to make sure we can never rise again. But they have come to the end of their rope. We will rise, we will restore Biafra. Biafra Bia will be ours. Assuming every pastor will come out to say something about Biafra restoration struggle. Believe me, this place will be a better place for all of us all. Great viewers have come to the end of this news. Please drop your comment in the comment section. Share it and stay blessed as you do. Cheers.